It all works like this. In a primitive universe before matter, there was prime matter. Prime matter is particles of neutral matter, neutral electromagnetically, which makes them unreal in our matter universe. Why? Because the only way we know matter is from the electromagnetic field which wraps around electrons and protons. A baseball stadium sized field for a baseball of matter. A prime matter particle is twice as dense as matter. It has one negative and one positive particle, but its fields are intertwined and inward facing. It's perceived as neutral so it can't be seen or felt with any present instrument. Yet these particles fill the universe. Our universe is made of them. 99% plus prime matter, the rest matter. What else was there? Some energy, not much, and seldom experience. But one universal day, this energy rocketed through the prime matter and split a prime matter particle into two equal pieces, one positive and one negative, equal in size and opposite in an electromagnetic field, an electron and a positron. The negative particle repelled, the positive particle attracted. What did it attract? It attracted negative electrons. Yes which it joined with, and they both disappeared again. But in the prime matter ocean that we call outer space, that positive particle was not aimed at an electron. Seemingly alone, the positive particle has time, time to gather a coating to protect it. As it turns out, positrons also subtly attracted prime matter particles. In a short time, it wrapped itself in five layers of prime matter particles. Since the positron's positive field ends abruptly, the corner particles don't adhere, so we lose the ten corner particles on each of the eight corners, leaving us with exactly 919. Actually 918, but we take one down because of the positron inside. 919 prime matter particles, which is 1,838 electron weight. The scientific community, unable to separate the particles, interpret them because of the transfer of energy within the particles as different as in quarks, gluons, etc. Decay and destruction allows clumps of prime matter to stick together. These clumps are referred to as neutrinos. Unable to attract and hold a sixth layer, this then was a proton. When the new proton encountered an electron, it attracted it. But the neutral prime matter shells held the electron at a distance because the electron is negative. The attracted electron wrapped its mass around the proton like a shell of silly putty. Open at one end, yes, like that. Because the outside of the particle cannot touch itself. This then is a hydrogen atom. Nice, huh?